Well, right now the search is intensifying for a missing 25-year-old model who just moved to Hollywood from Macedonia. Yes. Detectives are trying to figure out if there's a link to this case and a deadly pursuit in Corona. KCON's Jeff Nguyen is live in Hollywood right now with the latest on this story. Jeff. Jeff, the aspiring model and actress, had been living at the apartment complex right behind us, where neighbors tell us she mostly kept to herself. Well, now tonight, investigators are trying to figure out if she is somehow connected to a police pursuit that ended in death. Tonight, flyers line the 1700 block of Wilcox Avenue in Hollywood, where Adea Shabani was last seen near her home a month ago. Neighbor Chrissy Newman says it's been heartbreaking to walk past pictures of a vivacious 25 year old. It's just very haunting and sad because she just had great energy. Friends say Shabani got to town from Macedonia two months before her disappearance. She was an aspiring model and actress who took classes near her apartment. Delightful. I would see her in the elevator, in the laundry room. She gave me good laundry tips, and uh, she was just a delightful, spunky gal. But her name is grabbing headlines after a police pursuit in the Inland Empire, which ended in Corona with a standoff Thursday night in which the suspect shot and killed himself. There have been reports that pursuit suspect was Shabani's boyfriend. Jaden Brandt is a private investigator for the Shabani family. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I, I can't confirm any details uh, regarding that at this time. It just remains an active investigation. The Riverside Coroner's Office says the pursuit suspect was 33-year-old Christopher Spots of North Hollywood, but LAPD, who's handling the missing persons case, isn't confirming a connection to Shabani. In a written statement, the CHP says Spots had been driving a stolen Toyota Tacoma that had possibly been used in a homicide which had occurred in Los Angeles County. Both the LAPD and Brant say Shabani's case is still treated as a missing persons case. So we're looking um, to find out, uh, locate her or find out what happened to her. In the meantime, Brant says Shabani's family is holding on to hope that she'll be found alive. Her neighbors are staying optimistic as well. I just wish her and her family the best. And a $25,000 reward is being offered for information in this disappearance case. Now back to you.